video, we're going to talk about central tendency, what it is, how to measure it, and how it's used within statistics. The central tendency represents the center or typical value of a data set. The most common measures for central tendency are your mean, your median, and your mode. And so these are something that you probably hear a lot about, and we use them a lot within describing our data and statistics. So our mean is the average value. It's calculated by adding all of the numbers and dividing by the number of values that were added together. The advantages are it's really easy to calculate and the disadvantages are it's really sensitive to outliers. If you have a really high or a really low value, then it can really easily swing your mean higher or lower because that value is getting added in and only divided by one additional value there. Your median, on the other hand, is the middle value. So it is calculated by arranging all of your values within ascending order and then finding the middle value or the average of the two middle values if you have an even number of values. The advantages is this isn't affected by outliers. If your top value is a thousand more than your next value, it's not going to affect what your middle values are. The disadvantages is this isn't as easy to calculate because you have to really go through arranging your values, counting in to find the middle one, and then either taking the average or taking the middle value. And then finally, your mode is the most frequently occurring value. To calculate this, you have to count the frequency for each unique value and then choose the value with the highest frequency. The advantages is this is really useful for categorical data or to find the most common outcome. And the disadvantages is it's less informative for data with no mode or with multiple modes. And so just because it's the most common value doesn't really mean it's the central value necessarily. Your most common value could be a really low value and then you could have a lot more higher values, but it does tell you where that highest frequency would be. So when should you use each? The mean is really great to use for normally distributed continuous data because it was normally distributed, your mean should be equal to your median and your mode, and it's the easiest one to calculate. The median is really good for skewed data or when outliers are present because it will ignore those outliers and you can get a really good central tendency with a median when a mean might be skewed one way or the other. And mode is really good for categorical data or determining the most common observation, um, especially if you're doing something like survey data and you wanna see something that's like coded one, two, three, and four, and you wanna see which value is most commonly chosen, a mode can be really good for that. Now, if you wanna learn how to calculate all of these in R, especially the mode, which doesn't have a built-in R function for it, I would suggest checking out my Research Mastery Academy. I will leave a link in the description below for that. It includes all of these videos with downloadable slides, downloadable codes, and extended cuts. And it also includes my different research courses and other videos that are on my YouTube channel. Again, I will leave a link in the description below for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.